I'm not going to put him in the class of Charles Barkley, but he reminds you a little bit about Barkley with that ball, how quickly he can get to the ball. Four fouls on morning. Singleton returns after getting that ankle tape. And Tillman checks in for the Hoyas. Shooting one and one for the Tigers, number 44. Billy, what's the foul situation? Well, there it is. Well, Tracy, who has done an incredible job. Singleton Sims, who's played the entire second half with three. And Jackson, who did not pick up another one. On the other side, John is so deep with talent, it really doesn't hurt him. Long. Singleton winds up with it, comes back. Possession of the ball would have been more important than putting that up. Singleton really limping. And John is going to spread things out. Remember, Tracy has four fouls on him, but he's going to have to just go and keep playing Smith tight. Jackson. Jammed in by Alonzo Mourning. Seven of his nine points. To make it eight of his nine here in the second half. Three-point shot. They've got to get Jackson the ball somehow. Sims hits the field goal, and there's a foul underneath. Basket's got to count. I'm wondering if it's against Jackson hitting Jaron Jackson. Foul's at number 24. And when we conclude this basketball game, we'll send you out for third-round coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach National Pro-Am. Leaderboard starting to back up in that tournament. Three-way tie right now. Brett, that was on Singleton. That's his fifth. That may be a blessing for uh, Dale Brown, though, because he comes back with Mouton and gives him the three guards, and he needs some outside threats. Solid game for a freshman who's going to have a fine career at LSU. Excellent defender, leaps well. Sims pulls down the missed free throw. Unless you can tie at this trip. That's the time remaining. Jackson. Oh, oh, right. Put what him on the line. The kid is special. Bryant is a great defender. And watch what Jackson does to him. He gets him on his hip and glides it right on through. And no emotion. When you watch him shoot around in practice, that unlimited range and that great wrist snap of his, even though he was getting bodied, he still had the ability to keep that ball in control with his wrist. Chris Jackson. And the kid puts him ahead. 78-77, 207 remaining. And now with a pretty good matchup, Blanton playing Alonzo Mourning, doing an incredible job on him today, and they've got guards against guards. Here's the other Jackson. And he is fouled. That was Sims. So Jaron Jackson with 26 points, steps up to the free throw line, and the Hoyas trailing by one at the 145 mark. Fred, this is a tough defense, I mean, a tough offense to handle because you have Alonzo Martin, Martin setting these screens and four guards that can handle the ball so well coming off the More tickets sold for this college basketball game than any in history. 66,000 plus. And they've enjoyed a good one. Jackson missed that one. Knocked back into the hands of Smith. That was Bobby Winston. This fellow right here, excellent team field general. Good passer. Hard to double team him because of his size. Going to straight four corners now. Change again. And some great memories here in the Superdome in terms of college basketball. Keith Smart of Indiana. Michael Jordan of North Carolina. Championship games that have unfolded here this decade. The place, Dome. place has been great to CBS. Smith. Won't 
go down. He hustles after it in the corner and gets it away from Sims at the one minute mark. Each coach down to his last timeout. Got a 15 second differential clock and shot clock, so LSU will get the ball back at least once. Straight four corners. Smith is their clutch shooter. Jackson's been the hot hand today, and Mouton fouled him. You know, Brent, here's a case where I think a team that goes four corners on you, instead of getting spread out man to man, pull everything back. If you're not going to go press them, pull everything back to the foul line so they can't get that breakaway on you. And let the clock work in your favor as opposed to it being your enemy. Singleton's ankle must really be bothering him because as he fouled out, fellas over there on the bench can't come in so with Singleton out with fouls with such a small lineup doesn't matter anyway as Jackson hit the free throw it has been a great homecoming for this man there's Dale Brown with coach Abernathy he's been with him for 14 years oh that's that one done. but morning comes back flatten off with it and with 34 seconds to go the foul against the Hoyas and Ricky Blanton will come up to the other end. Now there's one of those freshman mistakes. Alonzo grabs the rebound. All they want is possession of the ball. They had the one-point lead. He tried a scoop shot that just wasn't in the cards. The senior leader, Ricky Blanton, comes to the free throw line, shooting one and one. And the Tigers down to the Hoyas by a point. Well, they came back and beat Georgia, and Blanton didn't even take a shot in the second half. He ties. And Dale Brown's going to stay in man-to-man. -man. LSU leads by a point. 34 seconds to go. Shot clock off. Now Thompson will use his last timeout. The way he was looking at Charles Smith, he's going to be a big player when you come back. Want to take better pictures? Get the new Canon EOS 750, the only autofocus SLR with a flash like this and a system with computers and motors in every lens. Here, try it. Try the zoom. Easy, right? Well, that's EOS. <laughs> you like it. Can I get it back now? New Canon EOS 750. Photography, pure and simple. <laughs> To be successful in delivering packages to Europe, Canada, and the Far East, it takes a lot more than fast trucks. It takes a knowledgeable worldwide staff, a computerized tracking system, and of course, a fleet of planes that fly there. Insist on all four. Worldwide service from Federal Express. Nothing's rougher on a man's face than shaving. That's why there's Skin Bracer. It's more than an aftershave. It soothes, cools, tightens pores, so it's good for your skin. Thanks. I needed that. Skin Bracer aftershave. Bye, men. Testing. When my head really hurts, I don't care what anyone says. The only thing that counts is what works for me. Advil does. One's usually enough. 24 seconds to go. Georgetown's ball. And just a moment ago, Dale Brown talking to his team. Ricky, you got to show the penalty. You got to step out. Hey, don't let them get a second shot, all right? Because they're going to shoot to try to win it. We get the ball, we go home. Unless we can intercept it, huh? I got a feeling we might intercept it. Hey, help each other. If they score, don't want a timeout. Norman Vincent Peale never ran a huddle any better. The power of positive thinking. I think we're going to intercept it. Here comes the main man. Smith is up with a shot. He was fouled by Tracy. By Charles Smith. Really caught at a tough angle there, and Dale Brown told his club that it would be Smith or Jackson that would take the shot. Charles Smith's going to come up off the floor and shoot these fouls, believe me. 
personal foul. He is tough as nails. He felt a little contact and then went to the floor. That's all for Tracy, isn't it, Brent? I think that's his fifth. Yeah, you're right, Billy. It is. You, you see, he caught him right there. Smitty, look at the concentration on Smitty. On the way down, his head's still watching the flight of the ball. So Tracy will leave the game, and Russell Grant getting ready to check in for the first time. LSU does have a timeout remaining. Number 22, Russell Grant. He's going to use it to try to ice Charles Smith. Now, I don't know. I think I ought to let him on the line because he's injured a little bit. Make him shoot it right away. He scored 31 points here this afternoon, and he's 6 of 7 from the free throw line. I would guess that the one player you really have a tough time icing is Charles Smith. He sure. is Mr. Cool, and we'll be back to see him at the line in a moment. Listen to me. Doesn't get the roll. Needs the second one to tie it for Thompson. We're tied at 80, 20 seconds to go. LSU's ball. They'll try to get it into Chris Jackson's hands. Mouton gets it over to the freshman sensation, and here he comes against Smith. He's going to be triple team him. Somebody's open underneath. He keeps the dribble. He's looking for a foul. Doesn't get it. The shot short up to Blaine. Yeah. He hits it at the buzzer with one second. LSU wins it. LSU wins it. Georgetown, 82 to 80. This has been a presentation of CBS News.